really what has um happened especially in ghana but it's happening all across the continent as well is is this big shift this move back to uh, uh, um to to the continent uh, and it's been trickling over time and of course it happened you know uh, uh, marcus garvey sort of uh, uh, asking uh, blacks to go back but obviously stalled a bit and what happened uh with the year of return i think was you know it was a pretty you know uh, um uh, extraordinary thing where you know the government did take some initiative uh um some initiative and, and really asked you know welcome uh, uh uh the diaspora back right and um it was an initiative that was created actually by a, an african-american it was brought for, a proposal brought forth by an american african-american uh and for those that don't know the year year of return is 400 years since the end of slavery it was meant to celebrate the, uh, uh that that occurrence um and it was a way to sort of ask people to come back and um it was it's been very successful i must say ghana i uh, was not a tourist country until you know 2019 and then all of a sudden you know it's it's now become you know uh, i mean for me it's always december has always been fun but now it's you know it's it's a, it's a whole it's a movie really in a lot of ways what, what occurs in ghana in december right uh, and so you're seeing a lot of eyeballs on the con. You're seeing obviously social media and people posting, posting it all, all, all over the place. And what that has done now uh, for us has been it's been very instrumental for our business, especially. And so even that video you saw there, the tour, uh, are, are all African Americans who've never been to Ghana before, but we're willing to join a tour focused on real estate in Ghana, right? And um, uh, I'll tell you one interesting story. One of our clients, uh, who actually even became an investor in Sesso, actually himself, uh, Brooklyn couple, never been to 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 Ghana, uh, 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 sort of never been to Ghana. No family from Ghana. Uh, uh, husband uh, um, is pretty much African American. You know, uh, ancestors were, were slaves, and then uh, uh, the other lady is, uh, is from the Caribbean. So they, they've never been to Ghana before, but, uh, um, you know, he, the, the husband uh, was, was very funny. He was like, uh, he had no interest in living in Ghana. Um, you know, he was pretty much said negative percent chance to go live in Ghana, but his wife, uh, um, you know, would watch a lot of YouTube videos and that's actually how she found us, you know, through some of our YouTube marketing, uh, uh, and just to, uh, watching Ghana, watching all parts of the continent, but deciding to hone in on Ghana. Uh, and learn a lot about it and they decided you know they would come to Ghana for about a week and you know check it out and see if hey this is the place you know they want to be be at and uh, you know the husband you know said he went from your know, negative all the way to 90 percent or so within a week he decided hey they're, they're gonna stay here and nice he bought a, a three hundred thousand dollar penthouse and uh, you know they've been living there ever since really just this, this since this past year and so it's it's these extraordinary things happening and there's a lot more of it happening of folks looking to retire back in the cons because it makes sense in a lot of ways obviously depending mm. on how much money you have you can buy land bill it yourself or buy an apartment unit or buy a, a standalone uh, uh by the beach you know perhaps right right but, uh, all of all of that being said is and, and again i take it back to the gentleman husband he said you know even if you know they were to go all, all his business died down which it didn't he could work from home actually so he's not even fully retired yet uh, uh but he, uh, um even if all his business died out you know he could live with his savings eating rice uh, uh uh for the rest for the rest of his life because you know he's bought his home you know with cash and uh no one is gonna uproot him from it from his place he can always he always has a home right so um your 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 dollar does stretch quite a bit for those looking to retire and that's actually what has driven a lot of and i think that's where you know right now ghana is situated as a party play, town but i think it's going to turn a little bit into what miami is which is or, or florida let me say is actually in the sense that you know parts are party central but then a lot of florida is also just retirement central as well a lot of people looking to retire and i think that's what's going to happen to ghana I, I bet it's going to be a bit of both